Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of a new Trekkie. My five-year mission to search out Star Trek media, to seek out our fans and merchandise, to boldly go where no fan has gone before. Hey, hey everybody, how's everyone doing? So we're back to talk about Star Trek Enterprise. And this time we're looking at two episodes, The Shadow of Pijam and Shuttle Pod 1. And Shuttle, let's go ahead and look at the first one, which is Shadow's Pijam. <laughs> In this episode, uh, this is like his a, like a, uh, sequel to the episode, The Enduring Incident. Uh, in this episode, Archer and Sapol are kidnapped while en route to a plant in the Cordonian system, which results down by members of a radical faction. You might have told us about your little war before you invited us down. It's not Vulcan policy to negotiate with terrorists. It's a competition between Vulcan and Andorian forces. And I gotta say, uh, keep in mind, like, say, this is, like, Satan taking the, the Enterprise series takes place, like, say, at the very beginning of, uh, space travel, I guess, in a way. I gotta say that, like, you know, like, say, when you're starting off with, like, say, the original series, and then you're going into Generations, and then you have watched the others, but then you suddenly go into Enterprise. Then you feel like, say, wow, the, uh, the Vulcans certainly have changed over quite the centuries, I guess. Because, I guess, say, the, because the Vulcans and the, I'd say, uh, especially in this episode, it's always like, say, the Vulcans are just like saying, say, we have no the moral high road, okay? Uh, yeah, we know what's going on. And that, like, the Andorians are all kind of saying, like, say, hey, you think the Vulcans are so, high, uh, you know, knowledgeable and all that? Well, you might not always, you might be wrong, and then, I don't know about that. Uh, honestly, I kind of like the episodes where Paul and Archer are always involved, because I think, you know, uh, they have good chemistry, especially the actors for them. And that, you know, like, say, when you have these two work off each other, it's sort of like, say, the relationship between Kirk and Spock. And that, although it's the beginning of the human relationships between uh, humans and Vulcans, I guess, say, it works, honestly. And that we learn more about the Vulcan race as... Tapol has to open up, and like she's told, like, say, you are ha having to be reassigned because we believe you and your captain are the cause of what happened on the Vulcan, uh, library. And all that. Uh, and, uh, I gotta say, like, see the whole of them being held hostage. Did it ever occur to you that could get the captain into Paul Kill, an all new Enterprise? I gotta say that it's like a pretty dark aspect, and that I n you never think, like, say, oh, this would have been something you'd see in Star Trek. <laughs> and then also keep in mind, I haven't really gotten to season two of uh, Next Generation, so I haven't really thought, like, say, oh, oh, uh, well, look at there, uh, Captain Picard has been kidnapped, or something like that. I mean, overall, I gotta say this episode is entertaining, like, the dramatic aspects. Between the captain, the pole, and that looks like she's having to be going away, and she ends up saving Captain by uh, taking a blaster, a phaser blast shot. And I think this one episode is sort of like, say, a character development episode, in a way. But that's just how I feel about this, honestly. Let's go ahead and talk about the next one, which is Shuttle Pod 1. What 
happened in this episode? Well, during a shell pod mission, Tucker and Reed become convinced uh, Enterprise has been destroyed and that their prospects of survival are slim. Uh, much of this episode takes place in a uh, shuttlecraft, a shell pod one. I gotta say, this one actually works. Honestly, mostly because this is more of a dramatic episode, as bad like say. We have just two actors. They have to work off each other. There's no aliens. There is, like, say, no other force except, like, say, the will and the, that they have to make sure that they can survive. The air that they are believe, breathing is eventually going to evaporate. It's my intention to recount the events that led to the destruction of the Starship Enterprise. I lost nearly everyone I cared about on that ship. We've got less than two days of air left. May God have mercy on our souls. And I gotta say, that is very good dramatic mo moments. And the fact they say, hey, we're going to create tension between these two until they, in a way, from having to be in an enclosed space, become a bit of friends in a way. Marjorie, the radio. <laughs> or is it just the galaxy giggling at us again? They can giggle all at once. But the galaxy's not getting any of our bourbon. <laughs> Although they are arguing at times, like say they, you, like say, uh, Tucker's constantly say, say, Reed is this pessimistic individual because he's constantly saying, like, leaving messages to others, like say, hey, this is what's going on and all that. Like, like, last Royal Testament stuff. And, uh, Tucker is basically just trying to say, say, we will get out of this. We get out of this. And eventually they do. Uh, there's one point where it's kind of like, say, a gotcha. And then, like, say, we are led to be like, oh, they get off the ship. But it's almost a sort of like a dream sequence that uh, Reed has. And, uh, honestly, I kind of like this in the fact, like, say, uh, I like the aspects of this episode and the fact, like, say, oh, um, we have a bit of an issue of the ship, and then at times they're having dr drinking wine with each other. They say, you know, we're not so different between each other. But eventually, they are able to figure out a plan to get the Enterprise to notice them, and they are able to get off, and, you know, they're saved. So overall, I kind of think the episode works, and the fact that it's dramatic, and it builds character development between the two characters. But that's that's just how I feel. What do you guys see of these two episodes? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Put your thoughts in comments down below. Do you actually like Star Trek Enterprise? What is your favorite Star Trek episode in general? Thank you for watching. I'll be sure to see you next time. See you later.